So, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, we really want to apologize for this. This should have happened earlier because I know what to media. It's now almost three o'clock and you need to go and find the story. So, I really want to plead with you, Mjaribu Tum Mwarakishe, Wasababu Nivile Mambo Yalikua Vile Libyo. Um, so I'm going to read in English. Is there a microphone? Is there any microphone? Aifany Kazi? Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so we are giving our daily update uh, from here. Mike in Gefaku and ask podium distributor it out and is it a kind of Nagani up. It's a shaker to Bado. Was one gets a volume. Ah, yeah. So, um, not as loud, but let's try. So I'm going to read, uh, to read a very long statement. It's a little bit long, so let's just uh, be patient. I want to thank you all of the members of the Father State who are here uh, because you are our partners in this whole issue. Those vehicles can switch off the vehicles. Um, so I'm joined here by the Regional Commissioner uh, for this uh, region, Madam Flora Moroa who is doing a very good job. Also with me is Judith Olwoch Waziri, uh, the CEC uh, in charge of disaster from the... Okay. The CEC for disaster from uh, uh, county government of uh, Kisumu, and then I do have uh, Major Mdigila, who is uh, the director of disaster operations at the Kenya Red Cross, and also, most importantly, my good brother here, the Secretary General of the Kenya Red Cross Society, uh, Idris Ahmed. So I'll read the statement, and then after that I'll call upon them to, to come and make uh, uh, some few remarks. Um, that is the CEC and then the SG. Statement on the flooding situation in Kenya uh, issued on 7th May 2024 at Nduru Secondary School in uh, Kisumu County, which is this sub county? Kadibo sub county, which constituency? Nyando, 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 uh, Nyando constituency. Uh, this place of um, Ambassador Fred Outa. Uh, Kenya continues to grapple with the devastating effects of the floods from the, 20, uh, from the, uh, the, the 2024 long rains season, that is uh, March, April and May. The ongoing flooding and landslides across the country have damaged property, impacted on our households, and are disrupting critical infrastructure and public services. In fact, members of the press, we've just come from using a road that is now a lake. We've come all the way up to here using boats. And I'm very touched as a government spokesman. I have not seen something like it before, where people are actually living in water. You find cattle in water. You find school children in water, women in water. It is in dire situation. And the problem there is that uh, the dike was never maintained. So the water that is supposed to be helping the irrigation has now flown into the ho people's homes. That is the biggest uh, challenge uh, that we have found here. People, homes are completely marooned. As a government, we condole with friends and families who have lost their loved ones and also empathize with those who are recovering from injuries resulting from the poor weather conditions. We also appreciate those Kenyans who have come out to support the victims of the floods through material and financial donations, as well as uh, voluntary services and expertise, including their time, so that we can alleviate the sufferings of our neighbors. In matters transport, 
Landslides, mudslides, as well as bridges have been reported in Makueni, Nyandarwa, and Bamet counties. In fact, like in Nyandarwa, Kipipiri constituency, most of the bridges have been washed away. There has also been spillage of the Moya East Camp Masinga Dam into Embu County. And a severe overtopping of Kangudo Road at Joska Bridge at Mach in Machakos County. And you know, this is really close to Nairobi. It's within the uh, Nairobi metropolitan area. A similar situation has also occurred here in Kisumu County, where River Nyando was overflowing uh, into the Nyando Bridge, uh, rendering the Nairobi Kisi Homer Bay Road impassable. And already some cracks can be seen on that bridge. Therefore, uh, questioning the integrity of that bridge. The Kapenguria Lodua Highway has also been cut off at the Lowus Trading Center, while the Tuthu and Karuruo Road in Moranga, Tuthu that is, and the Karu, Kar, Karururo, Karururo Road in Moranga County have been blocked by a landslide. Additionally, the seasoned lake in Kajiado has displaced some families while the Kimaratian, Kiramatian Bridge over the Oltepes Magadi Road has been overtaken by raging waters and some sections of it are currently impassable. So those of us who go to eat Nyama in Oltepes, uh, unfortunately, uh, there is a problem there uh, in that road. And uh, also, we are equally concerned about the villages that have been marooned including in Ilngarua, Gambo, in Baringo County, as well as the Huruma and Rongai villages in Dakuru County. Several households in these places have been displaced, and a landslide has damaged parts of the railway line. So you can see it's also interfering with the railway uh, situation. So that is on, in transport. When it comes to agriculture, it is unfortunate that agricultural activities have also been impacted across the country with a total of 7,533 acres of agricultural land being destroyed and 4,003 livestock have died. And as I've told you, we are seeing even some of the cattle are now actually uh, in, uh, in water. Equally concerning is that the current environment is conducive for the multiplication of vectors and poses a high risk of the outbreak of vector-borne diseases, especially the Rift Valley fever. Accordingly, county teams have been trained on early detection and diagnosis of the Rift Valley diseases, an advisory issued by the Director of Veterinary Services, so that there can be a setup of control measures, enhanced surveillance of vector-borne diseases, and the use of personal protective equipment, PPE, by professionals when handling sick animals. On education, the devastating effects of the floods and landslides are also being felt in the education sector with various schools experiencing infrastructural disruption and hosting internally displaced uh, persons IDPs. As of today, 1,203 primary schools have been affected. The heavy rains have also impacted 439,081 primary school students 294 secondary schools and 124,358 secondary school students. Additionally, 3,945 toilets in primary schools have sunken and 81 roofs in secondary schools have been blown off, thereby preventing the resumption of normal academic activities. So those of us who are asking why are we not resuming schooling, you can see this is a very huge uh, you know, uh, number of schools. Uh, 1,203 primary schools are, are already affected, and uh, that has affected 439,081 primary school students. So they have, they have nowhere to go. 294 secondary schools uh, have already uh, been uh, uh, you know, affected, and of course, uh, uh, totaling to 124,000 uh, people. So you can see over um, close to 600,000 learners cannot go back to school as we speak currently. So that is why uh, we have actually had to stop this indefinitely. And it's good to say that this has actually affected us even more than the Nino uh, rains. When it comes to health, uh, dispensaries and health facilities in Tana River, Kisumu, Kajiado, Busia, and Kisumu counties have been flooded 
and the roads leading to some of these have been cut off by these landslides or mudslides and water. This has rendered the facilities inaccessible and hampered disaster operations in the area. There is, however, enhanced disease surveillance in all of the counties for acute diarrhea disease, febrile illnesses, injuries, and other diseases. Daily reporting of the March, April, May associated public health incidents is being carried out by the county health teams. And it's also good to say we have a national public health operation center at KNH, and there's a toll free, toll free number 719. 719. So if you have any disease, any outbreak, please report there uh, so that we can move forward uh, together. Generally, in terms of the impact, these floods have caused a lot of dis disruption and destruction. And as a result, we are very sad to report that we have already lost 238 lives. That is eight more deaths in the last 24 hours. Yesterday we lost one. Um, uh, so that is why the whole number is coming 238. And it has really increased because only a week ago we had only lost 54 people. So you can almost see nearly 200 people uh, have lost their lives within a, in a span of a week. So it's quite serious. A total number of 174 people have been injured and 75 individuals cannot be uh, found. They are missing. The number of uh, houses or households that have been uh, affected has increased to 47,000 and uh, the number of people who have been affected cumulatively is now more than 240,000. Nairobi County has the highest number with over 163,000 people and uh, followed by this region as we speak and the RC is here over 40,000 people have been affected directly by this. So Nairobi is leading, uh, 163, almost 164,000 people, followed by 40,000 people uh, in the, the Nyanza region. Uh, then you have Eastern region with 5,957, and quite a number of people in Central Kenya, and also the coastal region. So the question is, with all of this, what is government doing? First and foremost, you have seen it for yourself, in collaboration with the Kenya Red Cross, which is a statutory body, and the SG is here and he will be speaking, we've been able to issue out uh, 441 uh, you know, non-food items uh, here, packages, and they are very expensive, and he will be talking about it. It's not little money, so we are working together. And yesterday we had a, a national emergency response meeting that was also attended by over 20 donors, uh, the UN also, uh, and so let me read what uh, we have done so far uh, in text. There is thus an immediate need for increased food and unfood items, as well as resource mobilization for search and rescue in most of the affected areas. Accordingly, the government has deployed varied mechanisms to handle the disaster and to manage the ongoing evacuations. The KDF and NYS have been deployed to assist in the search and rescue operations, while the National Government Administration Administrative Officers Ngao, who are here, represented by the RC and also the, the County Commissioner, have been mobilized to assist residents to move to safer areas. And uh, let me say this very clearly, that Ngao officers are working day and night, giving food, getting all you know, the pressure from the ground, coordinating with the Kenya Red Cross, and they are doing a very good job. Uh, I think that is, must be said uh, without a doubt. It is therefore important to note that unlike the previous evacuations, the Kenya Kwanzaa government is implementing a humane and unstructured evacuation process where evacuations are taking place during the day and not during the night, between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. So no evacuations is being done at night like we have seen before. And temporary uh, shelters are being provided to the affected groups. For example, in the package that we are giving people here, they are actually canvas. You can set some little tent where you can sleep. So that also is very, very important. This is a departure from the past where affected residents were actually chased without any uh, form of direction and without any form of government assistance. The impacted households are also receiving food, blankets, medicine, mattresses, uh, uh, ETC to caution them 
from the harsh weather conditions, including vanity, uh, uh, dignity kits. And by the way, there is something very interesting that is happening in Nairobi. Watu wanakuja mchana kula, usiku wanatoroka. Wanaenda kulala kuingine. So I think uh, they are being hosted elsewhere. And it's a good spirit of, uh, of, 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 of Kenyans. Uh, you know, sometimes they say these are the peculiar uh, habits of Kenyans. Here in uh, Kisumu also, people were actually removed from the riparian areas. And they were even compensated and settled. But they, some of them opted to sell off their land and return to the lake. Now again they are displaced. So really, <laughs> we need to have an honest conversation, our people. Because uh, now that is double tra tra tragedy uh, go going forward. In Kisumu County, uh, the food and unfood items have been received so far uh, from the government. There are 70, uh, 720 bags of uh, 50 kg beans, bags of, of, of beans, 400 bags of uh, rice, 50 kg rice, 20 bags of 20, uh, 25 kg flour, 1,500 iron sheets, uh, nails, uh, um, a lot of kilograms there, 20 cartons of um, soap, 100 jikos, and 100 solar lamps. But I want to uh, say that uh, the county also um, received a lot of uh, this support during El Nino. However, we need much more. We need much more. The people that we have seen there are many and in need. And even some of them, like this Muse here, you can see he's still with us here. Many people. And these are the ones who are able to, to make it for this distribution center uh, in, in Duru Secondary. There are many marooned in villages. I have, we have even seen a, an old man there who cannot just get out of his house. And he's a very old person. He's just out of the house. He cannot move. And you know, even the boats that are moving around, they are charging money. Yeah? So it's not that they, they are free rides. People are making money out of that because that is their business. Anyway, fishermen are now fishing men. Yeah, you know? And you know, they are fishing on the road. The same road that you are going to the market. Now you have to, to, to get into a boat uh, to go to your nearby church. It's a dire situation. It's a dire situation. In fact, it was very funny. You know, one day, uh, SG and I, we, we launched uh, boats on dry land. Yeah? Today, we are actually riding boats on rather dry land. Or uh, uh, something that should be... The, the, the dry land is now... I think we should have had our boats. Uh, and, and also, we are wearing even... Uh, uh, what do you call them? The life, life jackets. On, on land. On land. It's really serious. So, what we are going to do in the office, Msemaji wa serikali, msemaji mkuu wa serikali anasema sio kuzuri vile. Sio kuzuri. Unaweza kuimagine wewe unaishi kwa maji nyumba yako imejaa kwa maji. Kuna mtu kimepata eh, geti ni ya chuma hata imetengenezwa mawe lakini nusu imejaa maji. It, it's quite some you know we may say in baby the wale watu nyumba za hali ambayo si ya juu sana. It is affecting everybody. So it's quite it's quite something. Now father the affected households in the Nyando Kadibo and Yakach sub-counties have also received uh, food, but still uh, we need to give more, especially in uh, Muhoroni uh, areas, uh, so that uh, we reach people in Yakat, uh, in Yakat area, and we'll be getting the request from the RC uh, to transmit uh, on going to the National Disaster Operation Center. In other parts of the country, those who have lost their basic uh, documents are being assisted uh, through the development of civil registry lands, Kenya National Examination Council and registration of persons departments uh, are being mobilized on the ground. And uh, if uh, anywhere where this is operating, this is an instruction from the government, please assist people so that they get registered and so that we can give them uh, their, their documents uh, uh, that have been lost uh, for free as a government. We will give them for free because it is not their own making. So kindly uh, uh, register. A database of the affected households is also being compiled into, into a priority list of beneficiaries so that we can know how many people require the social housing program because 20,000 units will be put up within Nairobi County to move these people uh, from the slums and riparian areas into the homes where they will continue to pay only 3,000 shillings for rent until they are able to own their own homes. So it's 3,000 shillings, but you are paying that as a, as a mortgage. So 20,000 houses are being uh, put up. So please register. And this program is also extending here into Kisumu. And that is why now people should understand why His Excellency the President was very keen on doing affordable housing. This is the time people need to know so that we move away from these spaces and we can be more comfortable. 
We are grateful for the continued support from our development partners and international partners, in particular the United Nations, led by the resident coordinator Steve Jackson. They have pledged uh, up, to Kenya, uh, up to US dollars 7 million, which is uh, about 900 million uh, to help people across the country. And this support is increasing uh, by the day. Also, it is, good to it is important to report to the nation that the British High Commission has also given the country Kenya shillings 140 million uh, in that regard. Also, it's good to mention that the USAID, uh, during the, the last El Nino, they gave us another $1 million, and it's part of the resources that also we are helping uh, in conjunction with the, with the Kenya Red Cross. But we need much more. Uh, UNICEF will also enable the provision of cash transfer to 6,900 households who have been most affected by extreme weather. It is also good to say that also UNICEF will provide uh, health, nutrition, and sanitation services, including safe drinking water, temporary sanitation facilities and hygiene kits to safeguard health and well-being of the affected population to help prevent the outbreak of water diseases. However, in this package, there is a piece of... Uh, it's good I demonstrate to the nation. Yeah, so uh, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a there's a kind of polythene bag that uh, yes, this one that uh, we are giving to families here. Sorry, sorry for that. So this one, if you can all see. Thank you. So this one, if you can all see. It's called Sawa Safe Water, Safe Life. So you put water up to four liters, you put it in the sun, and then within how long? Four hours. Within four hours, this water is ready for consumption. Because we are having a problem of too much water, but none to, to drink. That is why we are having this. So, and it will be healthy for consumption, as long as it doesn't have other impurities. So uh, the Kenya Red Cross uh, volunteers are helping families to understand that. So the previous funding from the UK government also was able to provide cash assistance to 1,800 families in Tanariva County. And also, which is very important, the Kenya government, as announced yesterday by His Excellency the President, is going to give Kenya shillings 10,000 to all of the affected households. There are over 42,000 households uh, across the country so that at least it can help in terms of one month rent because we are anticipating this to go for about a month so that at least by that time we shall have other solutions going forward. So I know some people are saying, oh yeah, but it's only for one month because after May we hope things can uh, uh, go back to normalcy and we shall have had uh, you know, proper ways of doing this. But however, we are not going to allow anyone to go back to uh, the riparian areas. Please take note. 30 meters, nobody is going to be allowed to go back. This is an opportunity for us also to rectify poor urban planning so that then we get it right. And those uh, planners, this is a consequence of taking money and bribes to approve illegal plans. This is a consequence. Making people to lose lives. I think it's a curse. Don't take money and then you are destroying our cities. We have to be very careful. Uh, as, a, as a nation, as a people. The ongoing local support has also involved the mobilization of foods and unfood items from the private sector. The KEPSA membership through the KEPSA Foundation led by Gloria and Decay, which is, um, has supported the call to action by the Deputy President. And uh, as of now, they have already given food in Mukuru, Kibera and Gidurai and Madare uh, uh, places uh, in Nairobi County. And this includes 10 trucks of assorted foods, 300 kgs of uh, green grams, dengu, 16,000 blankets, 6,300 mattresses, very commendable from the Chandaria uh, Timpakaj, and uh, 16,000 cups and plates, 4,000 additional hamper, that is including 
uh, food and water view, boxes of milk, 83,500 dignity packs, uh, especially for women, and also about 300,000 from uh, someone for medicine for my Mahu, my Mahu victims, and they are continuing to uh, mobilize support. So this is very, very important uh, uh, going forward. So the Pankaj Foundation, uh, uh, 16,000 mattresses, 4,000 hampers, 16,000 cups, and 1,600 blankets, uh, just to make it very clear. We also have received bales of maize flour, green grams, uh, super cereals, cooking oil from the M-Pesa Foundation, which has been channeled to the households in Kibra, Viwandani, Babadogo, and Lindi, uh, Lind, Lindamawe, Landimawe, sorry, uh, residents, but also here in Kitumu. Uh, the Safari Com has also given uh, out food, uh, and uh, I think, uh, Madam uh, Judith, you can confirm that. Special thanks go to the varied companies and uh, captains of industry for their generous donation to the flood victims and for continued engagement with the NDOC, that is the National Disaster Operations Centre. Uh, and let me just mention them so that uh, we recognize their efforts. Dr. Manu Chandaria, uh, Peter Ndegwa, the CEO of Safaricom, Tim Pankaj, Pankaj, P-A-N-K-A-J, Patrick Obath, engineer, Shofko, NGO, uh, and I think I even saw they have been here recently, uh, and they are also trying to help so many people go to school, they even have girls' schools and all of that. Uh, Trinity, Bimal Kantaria, Elgon, Lee Karuri uh, of uh, Mount Longonot uh, Holdings, uh, uh, Bill Lee, uh, the former GM of um, General Motors, Karo Karioki, and Jazz Beddy. Jazz Beddy uh, 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 is, is very well known uh, in entrepreneur in this. We anticipate additional interventions uh, from various people, uh, and so we call upon Kenyans. It does, you don't have to be so known. When you help your neighbor by giving them a meal and they were fishermen and they cannot go because of the high waves, you are also a great person. Now, this is the weather condition. Residents should expect occasional rainfall over the western Lake Victoria Basin, central, the coastal strip, the Rift Valley, parts of the southern and lowland and a portion of northeastern. Heavy rainfall will, however, continue in the Lake Victoria Basin. That's why we are here. Western Kenya, central, the coastal region and parts of Mandera County. The water levels have also increased in the Tana, Nzoia, Adi and Yando rivers, demanding extra caution to prevent the loss of life. The ongoing rainfall in central Kenya and the overflowing of the Seven Fork Dams is expected to increase flooding in the Tanda Delta, impacting the Lamu, Tanda River, and Garissa counties, including Kilifi counties. The Kiambera Dam, in particular, has recorded an overflow of uh, 1,373.1 uh, 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 Cunex, while the Gitaro and uh, Kaburu Dams have recorded uh, 1,134. 9 Cunex and 1143 uh, Cunex uh, over, overflowing uh, uh, respectively. So you can see this is basically like one meter, one meter plus. And for example, for Masinga, that one meter, because it's a three by three uh, 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 dam, kilometer dam, it has increased by another two kilometers. So you can imagine two kilometers uh, full of water and how many people have been uh, you know, displaced. <coughs> The Kenya Meteorological Department uh, reports that the cyclone Hidaya has completely lost its strength completely. And this follows the weakening of the remnants of the rain clouds that accompanied the cyclone and which have been observed to weaken and spread out in various areas of the southern region of Tanzania. Kuale, Mombasa, Kilifi and Lamu counties are thus likely to experience moderate to heavy uh, rainfall offshore as well as strong winds which might propagate inland over the next days. Accordingly, beach activities fishing, swimming, and non-essential transport within Kenya territorial waters have been suspended. No swimming, no fishing. No swimming, no fishing. Please take that very clearly uh, in the coastal region. Additionally, the Kenya Coast Guard has a ship patrolling the long island, uh, long Indian Ocean, uh, uh, the coast of the Kenya territory, and additional three boats have been deployed with 20 officers on standby. So that is there. Also, the Ministry of Interior, we have three aircrafts from the police, uh, one helicopter uh, and two caravan uh, helicopters, but also we have hired another three. 
So we have six helicopters on, hard, uh, on standby to assist in the evacuation, as you were seeing what was happening here. As you can see, it's almost going to rain. Residents, particularly those in the coastal region, as well as individuals involved in mar maritime activities within and around the Indian Ocean, are encouraged to stay informed to regularly check the latest weather forecast and take maximum precaution in order to keep safe from the impacts of the flooding situation because of the huge waves, uh, especially within the day. The temperature of uh, over three, uh, uh, th um, 300 C experienced in most parts of the coast region and northern Kenya uh, is, is actually what is being uh, um, forecasted here. Uh, the average nighttime minimum temperatures will be below less than 100 degrees Celsius over some parts of the highlands east of Rift Valley. We advise all Kenyans to stay prepared and safe. We will continue to do public sensitization and we will continue to do structured evacuation as a government and will collaborate with partners uh, to rehabilitate the infrastructure and the resumption of normal services. In case of any emergency, please call 0800 721-571. Kenya ni nchi nzuri, fauka ya mafuriko, sisi tunajiamini na tunajua serikali haiwezi kawacha kamwe wananchi wa Kenya waendelee kuhangaika. Na ndiposa tumekuja hapa na hii timu yote ili tuweze kuonyeshana kile ambacho serikali inafanya, tumepatiana uh, 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 bifadhi tofauti tofauti ma blanketi sabuni vitu vya jikoni kwa wananchi wa hapa e, nduru na tumeingia tukaona maji yamefurika sana tu, barabara tunatumia boti kabisa tunatumia boti maajabu iliyoko mpaka tunavaa hivi life jacket huku nyumba zimefurika ngombe ziko katikati ya maji watoto tumewapata wanaketi wa haizi wakaenda shule na waz, mzee mmoja hapa ataweza akatembea kwa sababu hata hiyo boti lazima ulipe kwa sababu ile handaki uh, imeweza kuvunja uh, mipaka imeweza kuharibika kwa hivyo mto uh, yani ziwa linakuja mpaka majubani mwa watu na mvua itaendelea kunyesha hapa tunasikitika kusema kwamba watu 238 wameweza kuangamia na watu wengi sana 174 wameweza eh, 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 kujeruhiwa vibaya na zaidi ya watu 72 hawajukani kule waliko lakini serikali iko jana tumekuwa na mkutano mkubwa wa wafadhili tunashukuru kusema kwamba tuko na zaidi ya dola milioni saba kutoka umoja wa mataifa kuna shilingi milioni moja arobaini kutoka eh, 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 watu ambao wanatusaidia eh, kutoka kule Uingereza pia watu wa UNICEF wana, watapatia eh, eh, manyumba F6900 pesa kila za kuweza kuwasaidia mheshimiwa William Ruto mwenyewe ameweza kutoa amri tupatie zaidi ya familia 1040 shilingi 1000 za huu mwezi kwa sababu huu E, ni msimu wa mvua na utaenda mpaka mwisho wa mwezi wa tano lakini tunatoa tahadhari tuwache e, shughuli za uvuvi kule upande wa, wa pwani kile kibunga cha hidaya kimeweza kukwisha nguvu zake tunashukuru Mungu maombi inafanya kazi unajua kuna watu wengine wanasema tunaomba sana tutaendelea kuomba kibunga kimekwisha nguvu haleluya e, lakini watu wasingie katika shughuli za nini za uvuvi ni hayo ni sema kwamba Kenya ni nchi nzuri Kenya itasimama Kenya itainuka, Kenya itanawiri kwa umoja na uzalendo. Mimi ni mzalendo. Je, wewe una uh, honorable Mwaura prayed for all of us before we left Kisumu. And that is very touching. He knew what we expected here. Now, on behalf of the county government of Kisumu, uh, I want to state that uh, we are working very closely with the national government. Very closely with the regional commissioner's office, the county commissioner's office. Our administrators on the ground are working closely with the SEC and the DCCs to establish where the issues are and responding accordingly. I want to thank the national government. I want to specially thank our Red Cross team for the effort so far bestowed on the county, the support that has been provided. The flood situation in Kisumu is worsening. We know the backflow from the lake is chaotic. It has just been explained how the situation is, and we know that the rivers have burst their banks. As a county government, we appeal for long-term interventions. We are appealing for long-term interventions so that we can save uh, 
the people. Ladies and gentlemen, so maybe I'll make a few comments on general situation in the country from a humanitarian perspective. Uh, as we speak today, as the government spokesperson has indicated, more than 47,000 households displaced across the country, uh, showing and indicating that the humanitarian situation is not improving. Uh, our main concern and focus right now is to provide basic services to the displaced population in terms of access to medicine, uh, food and shelter during the period of displacement. We are particularly concerned about the increasing numbers of displacement in the Western Kenya region, uh, Homa Bay, uh, Migori, uh, Kisumu, up to Busia, where more than 40,000 people are now displaced. With the indication of the weather focus of more rains in this particular region in the coming days, and the major problem of the backflow of the lake, we are anticipating that more people will be displaced in the regions. Therefore, our preparedness measures have been put in place to receive more people within the designated uh, displacement camps. Within the Tana River area, the uh, displacement is likely to continue as the size and expansion of the Tana River increases. As the government spokesperson has indicated, we are concerned about the water levels in the Seven Fox Dam. Uh, we are likely to have, if more spillage takes place, the quantity and amount of water in the river Tana to increase, and more areas are, are going to be underwater. In the central uh, region on the highlands, the ground is completely saturated. Any more rainfall means risks of mudslide, which we've witnessed in different parts, in Kirinyaga, in Muranga, uh, in Kiambu. And so we are on high alert for uh, that kind of eventuality. Uh, that is the general situation. Uh, our focus, as we've indicated now, is to provide basic services and deliver on critical essential uh, aid that is needed by the communities across the country, which we will continue to do. But we've also started planning with the community's measures to be taken in terms of what kind of support we can extend for recovery, especially to farmers who have been affected across the Tana area and various parts of the country. There are two kinds of messages. One is that we cannot overemphasize the idea of personal safety as we struggle with the flood situation around the country. The personal decision, taking, making personal choices uh, that at the end of the day keep you safe. Nobody is going to force you not to cross uh, flooded uh, waterways. Uh, but if you cross, that is at your own risk. So please take your personal uh, safety measures very seriously. Second, we have a coordinated approach to search and rescue. Uh, and we put a place in measure from the community level early warning system up to the air support mechanism coordinated at the national level. Our toll-free lines are open. The toll-free lines that have been communicated uh, being the NDOC toll-free lines. The Kenya Red Cross toll-free lines are also open, 1199. You can reach us anytime for any form of support in terms of rescue and evacuation. But the key message is do not wait to be rescued and evacuated. Uh, move to safer grounds where they have already been established and they have already been identified. The main purpose also of this trip today was to thank the community volunteers and especially the volunteers of the Kenya Red Cross Society who are putting long hours uh, into the work that they are doing, risking their lives uh, to be able to reach communities that have been affected. And we extend gratitude uh, to you on behalf of the National Disaster Operations Center. So asante sana. With those very many remarks, the key message for us is that the situation is likely to get worse before it gets better, but it certainly will get better. Let's all put, pull our, you know, put our resources together so that we can reach those who are affected and we're able to make the situation easier for those who have been affected. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joseph Uma. Now, let me answer these questions as follows. RCE for the American Kubo. <laughs> First and foremost, uh, there are 100 drums that uh, the government has reckoned the fact that uh, constructing these drums are, is very expensive. Um, and uh, so we are finding an alternative financing model. You, you may ask yourself why we are doing so. It's because we inherited a country full of debt. Yeah? As we speak, yeah, as we speak, only some few years ago, we were we we paid sixty billion in loans, and on Monday we are paying another forty billion. That is a hundred billion. 
Ndiyo mkisikia tukiongea mambo ya madeni msifikiri ni mchezo. So the government uh, cannot be able to finance from getting taxes or whatever from people. So we are getting into PPPs. Now, there was an expression of interest. There was an expression of interest of uh, people who can come in in terms of PPPs to do 100 dams. Only 34 got uh, sponsors, if you like. And that, that documentation is within uh, the National Treasury. The estimate for Corus or Indam is about 25 billion. Uh, and so therefore, uh, it is in the pipeline. Uh, because that financing requires a uh, partnership so that it can be resolved. And so I also want to take this opportunity to call upon people, you know, venture capitalists, investors, to take up the rest of the uh, 66 dams. So that then we, we are, if we are able to do that, all of this uh, run of uh, rainwater uh, will be able to be uh, accommodated and will not be having this kind of uh, flooding situation. And that's why you, you see we had really thought about uh, how we can govern this, govern this country as Kenya Kwanzaa. That is why we have, we have the 100 dams as part of the better plan and now in the MTP4. So most, uh, Maurice Alal, uh, you know I write for your paper every Friday. Uh, 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 that is one of the things that we need to do. So it is in the pipeline. Because that is the solution. Because today we'll come, tomorrow we'll, we'll go, but then the, the flooding will come again. So that's the solution. On the issue of the dikes, uh, I, I really must say this dike has just uh, 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 you know, become damaged. Uh, the attrition is out of negligence. Uh, so this is a matter that, uh, now that I've seen it in my, with my own eyes, I'll take it up uh, with the National Irrigation Authority at the end, you see, because if it can be repaired, then we will not be having this problem. Kama hii andaki inaweza kufanyua ukarabati, hatunga ilikuwa na shida hii ya mafuriko. Kwa hiyo ni jukumu amba tunafaa kuliangalia, ili tuwezo kufanya tathmini na RC yuko hapa, tujue tunaitaji pesa zipi, alafu tuwezo kusaidi upande ule. Kwa sabo, that, that is something that can be done and it is, there is a solution. In fact, when we were there, the, the people, uh, that, uh, uh, some elderly uh, senior citizen was telling us, toe ni machine ya, ya, ya nini hapa? because of the, the irrigation scheme. So I think those are some of the things uh, that we need to look out for in terms of rehabilitation. Yeah, so the question, uh, Chris, your question was about what? Yeah, no, the money we are, we are putting, okay, let me explain this. There is a government funding. The government funding, which has been estimated to be about 4 billion, but because of liquidity issues, the figure may come down. That's why we require more support. Then there is a development partner funding like that, money from the UN. Then there is a private sector. We have now a new committee that has, uh, is, has, that has been gazetted, led by Peter Ndegwa, the Safaricom CEO. Uh, that then, the same way we had the drought situation, they will also give out money, including the 100 million uh, f f f worth of airtime that the media has promised. And we thank you for that. You are great partners. So they will be coordinated and, and, and proper accountability done. What I want to give you comfort, my friend Chris, is because the need is more than even the amount of money being given. We are receiving requests from ministries, departments and agencies and county governments uh, amounting to tens of billions. The last time I checked it was 24 billion. So even if we are to concentrate now, the support that we are getting is not is yet to be five, five billion actually. So we require much more, uh, you know, both uh, what is government, the government is giving and what uh, can be gotten from uh, Welsh wishes. But we can reduce this effect by each and every one of us helping where we can. Sisawa sawa? Asandi sano.